Sounds like we have some static. So we're going to try to... any difference. Sounds as though we have a little less static now. <laughs> morning and welcome to Delayed Daylight with Dean. <laughs> uh, this is Daylight with Dean number 147 coming up on 150. Three away from 150. How about that? Uh, Daylight with Dean number 147 on September 8th, 2020. Uh, this is the big day that most of Pittsburgh headed back to school and I think like 47, 50 school districts, something like that. So uh, for what that means to all of us and to get started this morning, let's enjoy a coffee together. I'm so glad that you are here today with me. I hope that your Labor Day Monday and Labor Day weekend was a great weekend, a great day, and I hope that um, you are replenished and ready to go for the remainder of the week. glad to be here. I'm glad to be up. I'm glad for the full day ahead. Uh, I'm going to be going to the gym this evening instead of this morning because it is my, uh, I have three girls that live here at the house with me and all three of them, it's their first official day of school. Um, and it is the first, it is the last first day of school as a parent to have a, uh, a senior in high school. So we are excited about today and I wanted to be here when everybody was leaving. So um, it's a big day, it's a big day. For those of you that have been praying for our students and our teachers as they return to school, uh, thank you. Annually, September is the month of um, sickness. <laughs> Not that I would wish that on anybody, but it just is uh, historically all those kids, all those germs coming together. Uh, my wife is an elementary school teacher. Uh, there is some um, there is some immune system battling going on during this month, so if you would keep my wife in your prayers that she will um, navigate all of that well. And also she's um, uh, changed rooms and changed positions, teaching uh, a different uh, class this year. And so um, if you would keep her in your prayers about that, I would deeply appreciate that as well. Um, yesterday, Memorial Day, Memorial Day, that was, <laughs> that was four months ago, three months ago. Yesterday, Labor Day, uh, was a very, very uh, enjoyable day. Um, 
got a lot done around the house. Um, got 85% of the sticks um, moved that were in the yard. Uh, got them all blown into one area so I can get them uh, off property, off site. There were a lot of them. I've never seen so many sticks <laughs> down before. Typically, it's a dead branch here or there, and I get up and move it. And, but this one was uh, was packed. This one had this one had a lot. And um, our church has a our community has a very large uh, kind of community billboard that has different organizations has their signs on it and New Kensington's is on Turin Bridge Road as you cross the Turin Bridge coming into New Kensington on the right hand side right after the stoplight that you can turn left to go to Giant Eagle you just keep straight and it's on the right hand side and nobody knows about it because every year it's covered with that um, uh, weed I don't know what that weed is, but you see it all along the riverbanks and all along the roads in Western PA. This time of year, it grows all summer long, and it's massive. So I got this commercial grade weed killer that back in June or early July, I sprayed, I think it was in July, I sprayed those weeds around that sign with. They had already grown to about six feet six, seven feet high, um, and the growth stopped. Like when I sprayed them, they stopped growing. But the problem was I sprayed them and then several hours later it rained. And so I got some more of the commercial grade weed killer and was uh, trying to chart my course of far as when I was gonna spray it. And I'm not very good at forecasting the weather but we've had several stretches with no rain but lately we've had rain here and there well we, we just came off of three four days of beautiful weather no rain and uh, so Labor Day I'm like that's what I'm gonna do well it was so cloudy and the sky was so dark this morning but the forecast said all the rain was going north and it did Butler North rained a lot and I'm like, okay, I'm in the clear, I'm in the clear. So I went and sprayed it about 11.30, 11, doused it, man. This stuff is, uh, this is a slow acting weed killer because it takes the poison down into the roots and deteriorates it from the uh, roots out. So it takes, it, it takes some time, but it's effective. And the strength of this weed system is the, is the root system because it, it's all connected underground and very impressively hardy. So got it all sprayed, um, got very thrilled about it and uh, was really looking forward to watching it die over the next week or two. And, uh, and about six hours later it rained. <laughs> And it didn't rain a little, it rained a lot. Uh, so I figured out how to make it rain. All I have to do is spray my weed killer on the, uh, <laughs> on the weeds and I can make it, uh, make it rain. So today is the day that my life um, gets to a place where I'm actually at the house by myself for a little bit. <laughs> Remember several years ago when I said goodbye to everybody and closed the door on the first day of school, I was just like, ah. So today uh, not only represents the first day of school for my girls, uh, it represents the first day of being able to be home alone during the day on some level um, 
by myself. For me, so it is a it is a <laughs> day. I've been joking with my wife about it, and I think she's a little tired of it. So she's awake in the room next door, and I'm not talking very loud because I don't want to uh, <laughs> have her screaming at me. Sorry. Um, and I misspoke uh, yesterday. I said my wife didn't want me going to work out. Uh, my 6.30 workout wasn't the issue. It was the 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. workout about 20 minutes away. That's the one she wanted me to be home from, and I was. So uh, we had a great day, ran some errands, did uh, some stuff at Sam's Club, and got some groceries, hit the... Uh, Aldi up at the Mills Mall and got some stuff as well, and then came uh, came home, did lots of lots of tidying up work around the house, got a lot done, and um, then we had um, grilled ribs. We had, we baked them in the oven for three or four hours, and then sliced them into two riblet sections. Marinate them or dip them in Leslie's homemade barbecue sauce, which is phenomenal. Oh, that's phenomenal. And then I finish them for 15 minutes on the grill to get them warm again and to um, uh, get that barbecue sauce just burnt on there just right. And uh, so there were about, uh, I think, 11 of us. maybe 11 of us for our uh, rib cookout last evening at 5 o'clock. Had a great time. Um, and it started sprinkling like before the cook-off, the, the cookout, and then we brought everything inside and then it cleared up and then we went back outside and we finished our meal and started desserts. It started sprinkling a little bit and then we're like, okay, we got to go ahead and get it in. So all of us uh, carried all this stuff inside and uh, we enjoyed our dessert inside. And um, then <laughs> Leslie wanted just kind of a mindless, uh, a mindless uh, movie to just kind of ease into the evening. I loaded the dishwasher and washed the dishes and we watched a Masterpiece movie, um, Masterpiece Theater, which is what Downton, Downton Abbey was on. But it was not Downton Abbey, it was about a minister in England who came across a murder and then he helped a detective solve the murder mystery. And it was a minister that uh, was, was very handsome, with great hair, yes I envied him quite a bit, and uh, spoke with a British accent, so of course he sounded brilliant. Um, but he drank and smoked in about every scene. <laughs> it was like, I'm so confused. And it was set back in the uh, early 50s. So it was, it was fascinating to, uh, to, to watch. And then when that hour episode ended, it was pretty good. I don't remember the name of it. Draft Day was on the Fox um, station, and Draft Day is the only uh, movie that Leslie and I can watch that endears us to the Cleveland Browns on any level. <laughs> so we uh, watched that, and it was uh, it was enjoyable. And then Leslie was drifting off. It was about ten thirty, and I thought, you know, I want to I want to look for. A movie that I haven't seen since I was a kid. I have the soundtrack and a song from this soundtrack off of uh, on my um, uh, on my uh, Spotify account, but I wanted to watch the rock gospel, uh, the, the rock opera musical. I don't know exactly what category you would fit it in called Godspell. It came out in 73 or 74 when I was seven or eight years old. And I remember watching it on TV and just, like, I 
knew the Bible stories and I knew the life of Jesus and all that, I was so confused to see Jesus portrayed um, the way that he was and the characters portraying the Gospel of Matthew the way they did. Um, it was, it was, I remember as a kid thinking, that's different. Uh, but then um, I decided as an adult, I wanted to, uh, to experience it as well. And so I found it last night and watched the first 30 minutes of it. And <laughs> it, it was just as uh, weird and unsettling uh, last night as it was nearly 40 years ago. But um, it, was, it was interesting to watch. I watched about 27 minutes of it. I'm like, I can't take it anymore right now. So uh, that was that was my evening, uh, my day ahead. I got to meet somebody down at the church at 9 a.m. And then I have um, other stuff going on as well. I'm going to check in with Michael and uh, see how he's doing, if he's um, followed up with the case management intake person that we gave him the number for. I got to see him this weekend. He stopped by before church. He was around a little bit after church. And he was carrying a guitar. He bought a guitar. He loves to play his guitar. I've not heard him play his guitar, but his previous guitar was stolen at the last place he was at. So it was good to see that he had a guitar with him. And um, so I'm gonna check in with him as well. We're starting a new series of messages this weekend at the river, so we'll be working with Mark on that this week and checking in with him about that today. So got a good day ahead, and I hope that you do as well. I hope that you do as well. Um, it was it was a very replenishing day yesterday. I went to bed and woke up woke up feeling. Uh, fresh and new, grateful for today, and I hope that you are ready for a great day ahead as well. Um, so I would like to pray. If you have students or teachers in your family, I would like to pray for them. I'd like to pray for you and all that's ahead today. So let's pray. Father, I'm so thankful for this opportunity to pause at the beginning of this week, beginning of this day, and lift up to you all of those who are um, heading back to school, who are heading back to school as either students or teachers. Pray, Lord, that you would keep them safe, help them navigate all the adjustments that they have to make. I pray, Lord, to all the people in close contact that uh, you would you would just keep them well and healthy. And Father, we pray that there would not be a increase in illnesses during this time, but that uh, our students, our children would be able to learn and learn well during this time. Father, I pray for my daughter. She begins her senior year. May it be everything that she hopes that it can be. I ask, Lord, that you would ease all of the fears and anxiety that might show up today for all of our students and teachers. Bless them, I pray. And Father, for uh, the rest of us, I ask that you would give us a good day. Thank you for waking us up this morning with breath and that we get to enjoy this day together. And I ask that you would do our day with us. Help us be mindful of you and navigate today with the intention of being a blessing, of being helpful, and of loving others and loving you. Father, we're so grateful for your love and your goodness and faithfulness. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Great to be with you guys, and I uh, look forward to seeing you tomorrow. God bless.